Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Mondo Docs. Today we are taking a trip to the Wet Chung Reservation in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. Right now you see me walking through some woods and these woods and the reservation are believed to be extremely haunted. There are stories of witches and those who perform satanic rituals and even stories of human sacrifices. In fact, even part of the reservation uh, locals refer to it as the Enchanted Forest, and then there's the Magic Forest, and the Witch's Forest, and so on. There are just so many legends and stories about these woods, and the reservation itself. But in this video, we are not really going to explore the woods that much. Instead, we are going to be checking out a village that has been abandoned since the 1800s. Uh, this area was settled by the Wilcox family who came from Long Island in the 1700s. That's how old this little village is. Then in the 1800s, a man named David Felt came from New York City to build his own village, uh, mainly for his workers at his mill that he also built on the land. But in the late 1800s, the mill shut down and Felt went back to New York City. The village became abandoned, a ghost town. The mill, along with other buildings, are no longer there, but there are some foundations and ruins you can find, along with a few houses that did survive over the years. Also in the late 1800s, someone else came in and attempted to turn the place into some kind of resort, but they failed. In the 1980s, these houses from the 1800s became protected by the state of New Jersey, and you do have access uh, to explore the land. You just cannot go inside the buildings for safety reasons. This building here, uh, for example, was a general store. And on the first floor uh, was the store and the post office. And the chapel, I believe, was on the second floor of the building. Now it's been restored and the bathrooms are in the back of the building. <laughs> uh, behind the building through the woods is also a pretty historic cemetery with some members of the Wilcox family. In this video, we're going to take a look around some remaining houses or cottages, and it does seem like some are being worked on, as you'll see in the video. And like I said before, this is public land. Uh, you, do, you do have access uh, and the ability to walk around and, and do some sightseeing, so you might hear some voices, because there were other people there with me as well. Uh, either way, I hope you enjoy this little adventure.
Uh, you can't really see inside, unfortunately. Or, well, kinda. No, not really. <laughs> And according to the sign, uh, David Fell built a, uh, a mill uh, in 1845 that was uh, for his printing business called Stationers Hall Press. David Fell built the town, Feltville, um, on the bluff overlooking the mill to house his workers. A three bay housed ox drawn wagons that carried Fell stationery products to his store in New York City. The mill was torn down in 1930. And I think you can see some of the um, the ruins over there are kind of a, kind of looks like a stone wall. I'm pretty sure those are the foundations over there. But, um, and this other sign here, if you look at the map, yeah, because obviously we are here, and this is the factory site, so those stones or ruins make sense. And then you have a dam to the east of us. And before we were looking at these houses, the three small houses, the cottages, those are them. And I guess, yeah, because we did see the ones in the front. So the one right here on the right was being worked on by the construction workers, which we saw and heard. And then there are two behind them, which are up on the hill right over there. So I think we're gonna try to see those if we can. And we saw the cemetery, which was cool. But yes, we're gonna try to see those other two houses up close, if we're able to. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Alright guys, we made it to the other two houses that were used to house the workers for the, the mill. Unfortunately, we cannot get inside. <laughs> sucks but it's still pretty cool to look at but yeah I guess they're doing some kind of maintenance restoring the buildings perhaps which is good It'd be a shame if these were you know to be left completely neglected or abandoned and left to rot Well, it's a shame we can't get in there, but maybe someday. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> 